Um, as the Lord Mayor and the Admiral of the port, who you technically are, like, are there any current duties which going kind of back in centuries, but which are continuing today? Yeah, well, I suppose the one uh, ceremony that has continued since the middle of the 1700s is the throwing of the dart ceremony, which each Lord Mayor d uh, carries out. Uh, I have a, I'm due to do it early in 2019. Uh, and what that involves is the Lord Mayor uh, with his Admiral's hat uh, and his robes and the, the Lord Mayor's chain, which of course has the coat of arms of Cork, which is a safe haven for ships uh, emblazoned on it. And one of my roles is to throw the dart um, from the mouth of Cork Harbour. Uh, and what it, what it signifies is the jurisdiction of the city uh, and the, the, the separation between the city and the county. And that again has been going on since the mid 1700s. It's an old tradition, one of the oldest attached to the mm -hmm. Lord Mayor's office. And I suppose it underlines the, the association between the office of Lord Mayor, the port and, and Cork's maritime tradition. Mm -hmm. And on top of this, then, we have the Admiral's hat, which is the, I spoke about earlier, part of the role of the Lord Mayor as Admiral of the Port. Uh, and this hat goes back to the 1750s and is used in the throwing of the dart ceremony. Um, so as you can see, there are still strong connections between the City Hall, between the Office of Lord Mayor and Cork's rich maritime tradition, which of course includes the um, visit of the Titanic during its, its sailing and also the involvement and the history attached to the Lusitania. Thank you.